All right, so this is a video series building the I Have a Dream app. And in the previous video, I showed you how to put images on buttons and make, make the button square. And, and if you kind of filled in the blanks, you should have a, an app that looks like this. But, you know, like if I preview this, um, if I click on any of these buttons, you know, nothing happens, right? So now we need to um, basically build the interactive behavior, make it so a click causes a sound to be, to be played. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I just want to rename these buttons. And it's it's important that when you're working in a designer to name these with descriptive names so that when you get to the blocks editor and start coding, you'll know what you're talking about. So for instance, I'm going to name this button that was by default button three. I'm just going to name it the MLK button. And notice I leave the component type as the end of, end of the name and the descriptive part at the front. Okay, and I'll do the same with Shirley Chisholm, and I'm going to change her from button two to uh, Chisholm button. Okay. And then Kamala um, will be Kamala button. Okay. So I've got these three buttons, and now I'm going to, I, I want to, you know, code them so that they can play sounds. Okay. I, I actually need some more um, input. You know, I need some media files, right? I need some sound clips. Once again, you can find these sound clips on the internet. A lot of times I'll search for whatever I'm looking for and then also add the keyword MP3 or MP4 on, onto that. Um, but, you know, in this case, you can once again use the book site, um, the drag and drop code.com site. And in chapter two, there's actually some sound clips for you that you can just use directly. And I'm just going to control click on this sound clip and do save audio as. And this is actually, you know, the famous MLK speech. Um, and I'll just save this MP, this is MP3 audio. Okay, and I'm gonna save Kamala's as well and save audio as, you know, Kamala.mp3. Okay, and you, so you can either kind of, and we're gonna upload those files into the app. You can either do that or you can also refer directly to a URL for, for a sound. And for that, we're actually gonna use um, a URL version of a speech by Shirley. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to put this away for now. One thing we also need in, you know, in the designer is to add the components for three sound components. And a sound component is invisible. You're not going to see it in the user interface, but it, it knows how to do things. Um, and, you know, you can either scroll down over here in the components, or I'm just going to type in sound. And it's in the voice category. And I'm actually going to drag in three of these guys. And of course, they're going to be named sound one, sound two, sound three. Um, and I'm just going to immediately rename those to MLK sound, um, Chisholm sound. And then finally, uh, Kamala sound. Whoops, sorry. I want to leave, I think I changed the combo button. So I'll leave that there. I want to choose sound three and change its name to Kamala sound. Okay, so I've got these three sound components that are going to end up playing the clips. I still haven't even set the files to those, those sound components, but for every sound component, you can set its source. Okay, and this is what, when, when we call play on it, this source is what's going to get played. So for MLK, Obviously, I want to choose the file, and I need to upload the one that I um, stuck on my desktop, right? Because when I went to dragandropcode.com, what I did was I stored these on the desktop, and I just want to choose, you know, make sure you choose the MP3 file, not the image file. And so I'll just bring that in as, as the source for, for the MLK sound. Um, for Chis Chisholm sound, do the same. Uh, now, in this case, for, for her, we've got the URL we're going to use. So I'm going to go back to dragandropcode.com. And you could find any URL, but if you do find a URL on the internet, make sure it's got the extension of a sound file. You don't want to get the web page. You want the actual file URL. So I'm just going to grab that command C and then paste it in. And that's going to be able to, whoops, sorry. Um, let's see. So for MLK sound, I've got that set. Chisholm sound. Oh, I think I screwed. Yeah, let me paste that in again. 
Um, there we go. I see. I see what I did. So anyway, now I have the URL of her sound clip in there. Um, and notice this is the, the one advantage of this is it's not going to take space up in my app. I mean, there is a limit on how much, how many um, media files you can have, or how many megabytes of media files you can have. Um, but in this case, we're just going to, you know, it's going to refer to a, a a sound clip on the web, and it will actually go to the web and play it each each time. Okay, finally, for Kamala Sound, I just need to choose the source and once again upload the file we've that we stuck on our desktop. And here it is, Kamala.mp3. Okay. Oh, whoops. Let's see. Maybe I didn't choose that correctly. Uh, upload files and Kamala.mp3 and open. Okay, so I think we're set here. So I've got three buttons. I've got three sound files uh, and the sound files all know what their source is, okay? Now, still, if I run this code, it's not gonna work yet. If I click on any of these buttons, nothing plays, okay? Because we really haven't said, we haven't made the link between the button click and playing the sound, okay? So uh, uh, this file uploader is just because I think the comla.mp3, the first time I did it, it actually uploaded and then it was trying to upload it the second time and it's already there. Okay, anyway, let's go to the blocks. And now we just need to say, okay, when the MLK button is clicked, you know, it's a pretty simple operation. We wanna take MLK sound and call play on it. So this is a function call and the call is to call play. Notice when we call play, we don't give it any file name or anything. And it's a little, it's a little indirect, right? When we call play on a sound component, it's going to play whatever the source property is, you know, which we set earlier. Okay, so anyway, that's that's how that works. Uh, I want to do the same thing for the other um, buttons, and for the Chisholm button, I'm going to call play on that sound. And just be careful that you get these matched up correctly. And then finally, for the Kamala button, I'm going to play um, the Kamala sound. Okay, that, that's that's it. So we pretty much got the the gist of our app. I'm going to go back to the designer, click preview. Um, you know, I know I need to fix this uh, text so it, it it gets centered and maybe make a little smaller so it fits. Um, but we'll have to check that on different devices as well. But now, anyway, let's look, check our interactive behavior. I can click on MLK, place his speech. Uh, not quite right, right? So now both speeches are playing simultaneously. And really, my behavior needs to be a little bit different, right? I really, when I click on a second button, I want whatever was playing to stop and then play the, the, the new clip. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my blocks. And if you, you know, any of these sound components, if you go there, you'll notice you can also pause, resume and stop. And I'm just gonna stop. When I click the MLK button, if Chisholm sound is playing, I'm gonna stop it. In fact, I'm just gonna call stop no matter what. And if it's not playing, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, and I'm going to do the same thing with Kamala Sound, and I'm going to stop, uh, call stop for for her. So when I click MLK, stop the two these two, and play MLK. And I'm just going to kind of copy this, bring it down here. In this case, when the Chisholm button is clicked, I want to stop MLK, and then I'm going to paste one more, and I also need to stop Kamala. Okay, and then finally, um, for the Kamla button, I do want to stop the Chisholm sound, and then I also want to stop MLK. Okay, and just be careful. Make sure you get these, you know, for the Kamla button, stop the other two and play Kamla. Um, I don't know. Let's see if, if, if we're there. I'm going to go back to the preview and click on preview, and now let's see if I can once I start playing the MLK, now if I click this button. Okay, cool, MLK stopped. 
And I should be able to go back to MLK and I can't. Um, so anyway, that's how you basically play sound clips, map them to buttons and build a soundboard app like we like we have going going here.